Plasmodium falciparum causes over 600,000 malaria deaths annually, mostly among children in Africa. In a phase 1 trial, subcutaneous administration of the monoclonal antibody L9LS protected adults against controlled P. falciparum infection. Now a phase 2 trial has examined its efficacy and safety in children over a six-month malaria season in Mali. In the randomized double-blind part of the trial in which efficacy was investigated, 225 healthy children 6 to 10 years of age were assigned to receive a single subcutaneous dose of L9LS at 150 or 300 milligrams, or placebo. All participants first received artemether lumefantrine to clear a possible pre-existing P. falciparum blood stage infection. The primary efficacy endpoint, the development of P. falciparum blood stage infection, irrespective of symptoms, on blood smear performed every two weeks for 24 weeks, occurred in 48% of the participants who received the lower antibody dose and 40% of those who received the higher dose, as compared with 81% of those who received placebo thus demonstrating efficacy for both doses. A secondary efficacy endpoint, clinical malaria, also favored L9LS, occurring in 28% of those who received the lower antibody dose and 19% of those who received the higher dose, as compared with 59% of those who received placebo. Solicited local and systemic adverse events through day 7 were uncommon, mild to moderate in severity, similar in frequency across groups, and resolved without intervention. The authors conclude that in children 6 to 10 years of age in Mali, a single subcutaneous dose of L9LS was protective against P. falciparum infection and clinical malaria over a six-month malaria season. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.